Hey everyone, Karen Basket DIYer here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how I came up with this Paisley and Floral Coffee Tumbler. Um, like a couple of other videos that I've done for you, this is gonna fall in that category of crazy fun, who knows how it's gonna go, tumbler tutorial. So, um, you know guys, I am all about showing you the mistakes and letting you see the real life here. Um, I probably have only ever made two tumblers with sheer perfection and the first time. Um, I am not into like stripping cups and completely starting over. I just kind of go with the flow and you're gonna see that and just see what I can come up with. So anyways, just stay tuned, follow along and I'll show you how I came up with this one. I'm starting out with my 12 ounce Maker Flow coffee mug and this brown spray paint that I already had on hand. I really like the finish that this spray paint produced. After my paint was nice and dry, I grabbed my tacket. In the past, I've watered it down a little bit, but this time I'm just going full force, just um, using the full strength, squirting it right there on my cup and spreading it with an art brush. Um, not a super thick layer, just good enough to cover it. Then I grabbed my coffee colored glitter from Glitter and Grand. This is such a beautiful color as is right here. Um, this is my first time using this color. And so I just really wanted to see what would happen whenever I did the Tacket method where you burnish the glitter. So I'm um, just using my hand to rub away the glitter and it is producing like a deep, deep copper color. I think it's turning out just so beautiful. Um, goodness, I kind of almost just want to leave the cup as is and not do anything else to it because it's so pretty and sparkly. Another thing, I had thought you could only use holographic glitter to get this finish, but this is a metallic glitter. And next, I'm grabbing my Illumilite Amazing Quick Coat Epoxy. Um, I've been trying out a lot of different epoxies lately, and this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, when used in the proper way, in the proper time frame, it's amazing. Um, do you see what just happened? <laughs> this is completely ruined. My timer went off, and I turned it off, and I was on the computer or phone and completely forgot. <laughs> oh my word. <sighs> well, lesson learned. I'm real good at these lesson learned things. So I guess I'm just gonna let that harden up and then maybe I can go over it and it'll be okay. Let's hope so. Wow. That is some crazy drying quick coat. Okay. Don't make this mistake. Use it fast. Okay, I'm back and I'm gonna try this again. Um, it hardened up way too soon before I could use it because I got a little preoccupied after my timer went off. So my timer just went off. I've got a new batch mix. This is done. And so I'm going to apply the new batch and hopefully, hopefully no issues. I said, I think I'm like a super expert on Mistakes, it's just become like so much lately for me. But you know, we just work through these mistakes and make things turn out great, hopefully. <laughs> okay, yay, I think this is gonna be okay. Much better. When you work with the epoxy in the allotted time, that you're supposed to, all things turn out great. Now, I did want this layer to be thinner than this is gonna have to be, but it has to be thick in order to cover up that blobby layer that I did below, but that is okay, it's okay, it's all good. 
It should be fine. Oh my goodness, that was a wreck. Hopefully you'll never know that there was a yucky, ugly layer below and I am just spilling this stuff everywhere. Oh my goodness. I may have to, I've not done a coffee mug before. Well, I have, I did like a um, coffee swirl on a coffee mug once and it was a disaster as well. I'm not even sure how to mess with the handle, but I do know that I need some on there really soon. Maybe I turn it off? I don't know. I have to work fast so it doesn't all run off though, I know that. Okay, here we go. This is gonna work. I'm gonna make it work. I need to walk away. Okay, so here's where I'm at. Just took this off the turner. It is very lumpy. Um, but I sanded it in a few spots to smooth it up a little bit. And then I cut out these flowers and paisleys. These are just um, designs I got off of design space. So I'm just using my transfer tape to transfer the vinyl directly onto the cup. Um, I'm being pretty meticulous because there's a lot of intricate little pieces here, which was sort of a mistake, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. Next, I grabbed my Rust-Oleum two times white spray paint and covered the cup. And then I decided I wanted it gold instead. Okay, so the plan, whenever I uh, put the flowers on, was to, I just wasn't thinking, um, was to lift out like the inner pieces of the flower and I was actually going to do alcohol inks on that white paint that I put on there, but then I was like, no, I really want something that contrasts that coffee color, bronzy coffee color, so I went with gold. Now for the weeding process. You have to be so very careful not to scratch that layer of paint. Um, I'm just using my Cricut tool and gently, carefully removing the vinyl to expose that peekaboo layer below. Okay, stopping right here to tell you, I'm such a ding dong. Whenever I applied my vinyl, you know, earlier from straight from the Cricut mat to here, that's when I should have weeded out this other vinyl. So, this is actually vinyl that you see here, but I am leaving it on there. Definitely should have weeded that out first. And then it would have just been gold paint directly on the cup, but it's okay. No one's gonna know that but me and you. And this is probably gonna end up being my own personal cup anyways, because, sheesh, I don't know if I can sell this. Just have to wait and see once the final coat gets on how it looks. I am feeling so super accomplished and stressed out. <laughs> I got one flower completed. There are flaws. I should have contoured out some of these little tiny dots and did what I said, you know, about um, weeding out before I painted it. But it's okay, I'm still learning. And hopefully you don't make these same mistakes. Okay, got it all weeded. And I decided that whenever I put the final, well, not the final, but the next coat of epoxy on, I am going to sprinkle some champagne glitter just to give it a little extra pizzazz because, I mean, I'm not loving it yet, but maybe it'll turn out great, who knows. Okay. So I think the best way to do this is to start with the handle. So give this a try. Okay, I'm 
just gonna let this sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna be sprinkling in some of this Maker Flow champagne just kind of sporadically um, just to add a little extra glitz. So I'm just sprinkling the glitter, as you can see, just kind of randomly, sporadically all over the cup. And I was trying to avoid getting it on the flowers, but there were flaws on the flowers too. So I went ahead and just got it on the flowers a little bit. Well, I don't think it turned out quite as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I still see like a lumpy bump that I need to try to disguise a little bit right there but I can just throw a piece of glitter on it and I think it will be okay. Pretty cute. Alrighty, and here it is, the finished and final product with the final coat on it. Um, guys, like I said before, don't give up. Just keep pushing through and do the best you can. Um, obviously, if this was a custom tumbler that someone had requested, I would have definitely done things different, but hey, this one's for me. I truly appreciate you watching and I hope that you will like, subscribe, and follow me on social media and ring the bell for notifications for my future Tumblr tutorials and just hang in there. Keep on keeping on. And I hope that you will find some encouragement and inspiration to step out of your comfort zone and try new things. Thanks so much for watching.